Hey there, my friend, it is card draw time, which means time to pause and be inspired. I've been enjoying doing these for you every week, basically drawing a card from a deck that I created from photos from my book, Running the World. So I actually picked a bunch of photos from the book and then wrote messages about themes that they evoked for me. So I've been doing this uh, for a few months now, well, doing the card deck for about over a year and then doing the videos for a few months if you have, if you're just kind of joining along. Um, the cards right now are in our PowerPoint slides, but eventually they will be a deck that I'll be drawing from and a deck that you can use for your own inspiration practices. So it is really my intention with these cards to give you a moment to pause in the rush of the busy day and connect with yourself and connect with the moment, which you don't necessarily always give yourself time to do or permission to do, which is even more likely. So I invite you and give you permission right now to come into this moment. Go ahead and settle, let go of anything you were doing before, let go of anything that will come after, and just let yourself breathe. Let yourself be. Are you putting a hand on your heart if that feels good? Closing your eyes if that feels good? Or just looking around at your external environment and noticing what's around you? Taking this moment to just be. And as you continue to be, I'm going to bring the cards up to my heart and ask to be guided to the card and the message that will be of most service to you today. The message that will most inspire you to reconnect with who you really are. And light a little spark, maybe a flame, maybe a bonfire of who you really are and what you want to create in this world. And with that intention out there, I'm just going to shuffle the cards a bit. Always exciting to see what comes up. And what we have today is... Oh, I can't grab it. Hold on. All right, here we go. All right, community. So we have community. This is These are Rhino from Africa, from Kenya. And the message of community is, we are made to be in community. We yearn for a sense of belonging. Maybe you've outgrown a community you used to love. That's natural and okay. You are growing and expanding into a more aligned version of yourself. You can plant your roots in a community of your choosing. Commune with your soul. Oh, I skipped the line. Start with a community of one, you, and commune with your soul. Find comfort in your own skin. When you are being your natural self, your true community will emerge. Sometimes you'll be the rhino carrying the load. Sometimes you'll be the bird resting and allowing yourself to be supported. Sometimes you'll walk alongside your companions. The roles aren't set in stone. In community, we find the flow, ease, and peace of belonging, no matter how different we are. Let that message sink in for a moment. And, and just to show you what the, was going on with the birds, you might not have seen, but there are, I'm going to try to do a little close up here. There's birds sitting on top of the rhino, like a whole flock of them sitting on its back and then some walking along the side. So, uh, so with that part kind of standing out, it is important to remember, sometimes we take on the supporting role all the time. Like we are taking care of everyone else around us. We maybe feel a, a sense of obligation, potentially unhealthy obligation to take care of everyone around us to the at the expense of our own energy. So we're, it's important to remember that even in community and especially in community, it's important to remember to allow yourself to be supported, that you have just as much right for support and need for support and and benefit from support as everyone else around you. So what kind of support would be most helpful for you right now? Take a moment to think about that. And if there is support that maybe you haven't been asking for, or maybe you haven't even realized you needed, are you willing to ask for it? 
Are you willing to see what happens when you say, you know what, I actually need to do a little self-care here before I am available to show up for someone else. And that is totally normal, totally okay. And you, you totally are allowed to. So again, give yourself permission to take care of yourself because you bring your best to your community when you have taken some time to nurture yourself first. You can't give from an empty cup. So fill your cup so that you have what you have to give to the community, what you came here on this earth to give, which is in its essence, just the light of your soul. And that might sound kind of nebulous or like, what does that mean? But just trust for the moment that you being you, whatever that means, is why you're here. You are here to shine your light and share your light with the world. And we as humanity are in one big giant community. And so everyone who shines their light is sh making the world shine brighter. So, and you have that capacity. You don't even have to do anything differently than what you've been doing, but maybe just more consciously remember that that's your gift and allow yourself to give it. Take another breath together and let it out. This week, I encourage you to reflect on community, what it means to you, and reflect on that support. What support do you need? And I hope you'll ask for it and give it to yourself and give yourself permission. Much love. I will see you next week.